Avery Weathers here with Mike Sick. So, Mike, you just had an amazing performance. How was it for you performing here at ATL Hip Hop Day? It felt good. This is my second year doing um, ATL Hip Hop Day. I think it's real cool that they put this on. It's a free show for everybody in Atlanta to come to, come through. I think more people should be here. and it's, I'm just really blessed to even be doing it, man, and just, just building with the people. And why do you think this event is so important for um, people to attend? Because with so much that's going on in the city, um, there's a lot of promoters in the city, a lot of rap shows that go on in the city that you actually you know, have to pay for sometimes. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of festivals. So it's cool that it's a free hip-hop festival, and it's called Atlanta Day, Atlanta Hip-Hop Day, and it's it's in the middle, in the heart of the city. You know, and I mean, it's community. That's, it just brings people together. There's no excuses unless you just can't make it. You know, it's not about the money. It's just about the music, the art, and community. So back to you and your music. Music. Who is your hip hop inspiration? Um, I got I got several. Um, the main one, I think, the very first one that really got me got me into music was Drez from Black Sheep, and I'm real hyped because he's actually gonna be on a panel with me October 8th at A3C. We're gonna be speaking on a uh, panel um, put on by Hotep and Hustle University. So I'm making sure I'm sitting right next to him. I'm picking his brain. So salute to Black Sheep, man. It really it really did change my life, and I was probably in about fifth grade. After that, I wouldn't shut up. So, what's next for you after ATL Hip Hop Day? Where else will you be performing? Well, you can catch me at Apache Cafe for the bar exam, uh, the freestyle experiment. I do that first and third Tuesdays. And then at A3C, I actually have a bar exam stage, a showcase with J-Live, Boog Brown, myself, Mike Bars, Shred the Verbal Tongue, the whole RWHIB fam, Paul's One from L.A., Cam Batter from, uh, from Tampa, and uh, Sofa Brown from Nashville, and SP Double from... Um, in Colorado. So we got our own stage October 9th at Department Store. That's where we'll be at. That's what we're focused on. After that, I got an album that's coming out called Renaissance Hustler. So I'll be looking uh, to work with different producers and just my family, man, to keep this thing going and building. Okay, and for those who want to reach you on social media, how can they find you? You can find me everywhere on social media, website, everything. M-I-C-X-S-I-C. -I -I that's Mike Sick. Or if you just look me up on Twitter, Mike and Sick, or on Facebook, the word, my name Mike and the word Sick. It throws people off because I spell it weird, you know? So. All right, well, there you have it. Be sure to check them out.